Milton of Clava. Now just a pile of stones, some cleared from surrounding fields. What we can see here is the remains of a Bronze Age burial cairn, with a related standing stone. Just one of many monuments in the area. Beside the cairn is the remains of a later chapel, possibly built by using stone from other Neolithic and Bronze Age structures. Let's go and see what we are really here for. Clava Cairns. Evidence seems to show that during the Neolithic or the New Stone Age, that with age came importance. So the most important of all became the dead. The worship of ancestors would have become central to daily life. Great effort and respect was taken of the dead, with houses for the dead being built. Stone chambers were built and a stone mound was formed around them. A passageway was constructed to the centre, which would seem to allow people to revisit or add or remove bones. Evidence of farming on the site has been found during excavations that predates the building of the monuments. It would appear that a settlement was replaced by the Cairns. The passageways of the open Cairns point directly to the southwest, in the direction of the midwinter solstice. The three main Cairns are also positioned in a line running northeast to southwest. To add to that, the standing stones are also oriented southwest, with them being graded in height, the tallest facing the setting sun of the solstice in the southwest. Maybe some of the stone used came directly from demolished dwellings. Some of the stones used in construction have cut marks carved into them. These may have come from old monuments or sacred sites. It would have taken great knowledge and planning and effort to build these monuments. The row of three large cairns was built around 4,000 years ago. It's possible there may have been two more, but so much has been reused. Even the surrounding walls built by the Victorians have rubbed out stone in them.
Evidence suggests that a millennia later the cemetery was reused, with new burials placed in the existing cairns. Three smaller monuments were built including the curb cairn. The middle of the three cairns is the ring cairn, with no entrance passage but with three cobble paths radiating from it. Evidence of burning has been found in the centre, but as cremation wasn't a common practice at the time, it seems to be more of a ritual burning, and maybe the ring cairn was used like a temple. The Northwest Cairn. Of the same construction as the other passage cairn, with its passage pointing southwest. Also common across the cairns is the use of larger pink stones to the southwest and smaller grey stones to the northwest. All have now weathered, so this isn't as obvious as it would have once been. Why would the midwinter solstice be so important? As we go about our modern busy lives we don't really have much reason to think about it. But to the farming community who built the monuments it would signify the coming of the longer days. Maybe seen as a new beginning, a time to look forward to the crop to come in the empty fields. And maybe they believed by worshipping their ancestors in the cairns who had passed on their knowledge it would help bring a plentiful bounty to the fields. With no written records can we ever be sure, 